tornado. Well, what's the matter with you? You're getting as bad as Chooch. Okay, tornado, we're trying to make a video, okay? Okay? Alright, come on. Yep. I said shh. Okay, so guys, I got the 56 tore apart here. Um, took the differential out. Uh, I had the left side out as well. I actually uh, had that side off first and I just put it back in. As you can see there's a little bit of sludge down in the bottom. I cleaned most of it out. This is actually leaking down out from the oil pump or the engine, I believe. Kind of out of the engine. There's some more sludge back in there yet. But uh, I think the worm gear was jammed up for some reason. But uh, after I took and cleaned it out, it seemed like it freed up. I got the pinion shaft back in, and the worm gear spins uh, with the engine. And when you disengage the clutches, it doesn't spin. No tornado. No. Don't don't jump up. Look, I can, it's hard to get anything done with this kind of help. Yeah. Look. So uh, anyways, I'm going to finish cleaning it out, I'm going to stick uh, that axle assembly back in and the differential. Um, well, while I have this uh, up like this, oh, man, I can't show you guys, but uh, anyways, this is one of the inter intermittent years. Um, three bolts hold the rim on like normal, and there's three bolts that hold the rim together and it has slots cut in it. Um, I believe it was Gravely Dawn that said those are kind of intermittent in between the solid hubs and the pie cutouts. Tornado, get down. Why does everybody have to jump on me? But uh, the differential seems to work alright. You know? When you watch it, the inner gear is spinning. I don't know if you guys will be able to pick up on it, but. It's spinning faster than the outside, so that's working. Um, I'm going to put it back together with a good tire on this side. This was the bad tire. You can see the rim was even rusted out. Um, so, I mean, these rim halves aren't really any good either. They're cracked and, you know. So, alright. I figured I'd show you guys that. Uh, this will be the first one. I'm going to stick it back together and see if it will roll it or not. I'm uh, hoping it will. So, uh, Alright, stay tuned. Maybe I'll tear into that one next. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Alright guys, so anyways, I got it all put back together. Uh, it still will not roll, but uh, I haven't narrowed down to it. It's definitely the forward and reverse clutch. Or the, the planetaries. Um, so that's going to be the next thing I'm going to have to take apart on this. Uh, don't know if I'll do it today or not. I might. It's supposed to get really cold tonight here, so uh, I figured I'd monkey around while it's still warm. Um, it uh, will not come out of forward. Um, you know, you can see it's locked in reverse there. I just tried uh, lightly tapping on it, see if I could get it to do anything. Let's see if I can show you guys what it's doing here. Much roll now? No. Yeah, get that much, that much movement out of it, and it's locked in forward. Uh, I just been turning it over with a socket and a ratchet with the spark plug out. So uh, it is definitely a forward and reverse clutch. Uh, but as you guys saw, it was probably a good idea I cleaned that out anyways, considering I had a half inch of sludge in the bottom. So that's all right. The other thing I noticed is it's still a low pressure oil pump and it's uh, plumb for high pressure high pressure pump lines. Uh, so I'll change that before I start it. And I bet this has the exact same problem, this 57. 56, 57, and the other 57 I bet all have rusted forward and reverse clutch, or planetaries. I bet they're rusted together or something. Um, but uh, this one here, I think if I remember where right, it would go into neutral. Because reverse worked on it, I think. I don't, I'm trying to, it doesn't really matter, but uh, anyways, it's just a 
small update. I'll cut it down a good bit this time, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see everybody later. Oh, you finally calmed down now, huh? Later, guys. Tornado says bye. Say bye, Tornado.